Welcome to another Azure Guide video where our hands-on training, where our hands-on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question two of our CCAD series. We're going to create a new file and name it config.txt and assign it some environmental variables. We're going to create a new config map and name it db-config. We're then going to create a pod named SQL Server that uses those environmental variables and then shell into the pod and display the correct environmental okay. variables. Task one of question number two wants this is pretty straightforward. Just create a new file, the name of config.txt with the following key, val key value pairs. So uh, let me show you my config file here. Edit, and there it is. So it's just a simple text file with the, uh, let me change this to 1433, and this to speed. All right, so that should match what we want. Save. Off to task two. Okay, here we go. Task number two. Create a new config map named dbconfig from the file we created in task one. I'm going to use help again. Q qbctl create config map help. And you see these are different examples we have. And we want to go with this one right here from an environment from environment file. So we're just going to say kubectl create config map db config from env file is equal to config.txt. And there it is. There's our file created. I believe we could go qctl get config map. This may or may not work. Yep, there it is. So we, I wasn't sure that was a valid command or not. But there we go. We can see our uh, db config file there. Now let's see if we say get config map db config. We get the same exact stuff. So, all right, very good. Done with task two. Okay, our next task asks us to create a pod that uses the environmental variable. So, the first we want to do is create the pod. So, if you went through question one first, we're going to do the same thing we did over there. Use the run command with the dry run equals client option. So kubectl run uh, SQL server image equals nginx dry run equals client dash o yaml and we're going to pipe that out to qt.yaml. There we go. Now we want to edit that file. And I recently installed, let's see if it picks it up. Open with more apps. Nope, didn't pick it up there. Recently installed uh, note. Pad plus plus. So there we go. And file open. I want to bring up the YAML I just created. And there it is. So, of course, we could have done that by hand, but much quicker to use this method. And if you missed my previous question one, 
if you can't remember all that syntax, you can use the kubectl run slash help and uh, helps you with the dry run client command here as well as other examples. Okay. So let me clear the screen and we're back. We're back at our YAML file and we now have to add to our YAML what we need for it to uh, pick up the environmental variables. So your friend here is going to be the community's documentation. We're going to type in config map. Configure a pod. Now obviously if you know the syntax already, just go ahead and type it in. But this is to, to uh, help you get familiar with the online documentation, which I think is going to be crucial for successful passing of the CCAT exam. And configure all key value pairs that contain environment variables. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Multiple configs. It's going to be somewhere in this area. So this is what we want right here. So we're going to just take this information here. We can put it over here on the screen. Can I get both windows in here? Hopefully. And oh, we lost it. So we want env from. Notice the capital F there. And we want config map reference. Trying to get, looks like it should be under the N, so name, and our name is db-config. I think that should do it. Environment from, that looks spelled correctly. It looks, our syntax, looks, our indentation looks good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Close it out of here. Come back here and let's create our pod. So kubectl create slash f q2 yaml. Kubectl. All right, looks like it's say it was created. Let's check that out. And our pod is running. So on to the next task. And our final task. We just want to make sure what we did works. So we're going to sell into the pod we created. And uh, display the environmental variables. So kubectl exec, the name of our pod, SQL SRV, and we want to be interactive, and we want to run bash slash sh. Uh, what did we do wrong? kubectl exec, that's right. Name of the pod slash it bash shell. Do I have the wrong? It eh, shouldn't be that one. Let's do environmental. All right. So we have our host name SQL server and our URL localhost 1433 oh here we go yes here's our two variables that we created so that worked but why couldn't I shell in 